Hello, this is Keith Haggerty, and this is my presentation for a content marketing strategy for a boring brand. Uh, for mine in particular, I've decided to focus on a local real estate agency, which could be really any hyper, uh, hypothetical local real estate agency, just as long as it's not a Weikert or a Century 21 or a big national brand. Using the content marketing strategy advice offered by Patricia Redsker in her Content Marketing Institute piece, Five Content Strategies for Boring Brands, Every company and organization, no matter how boring or bone dry dull they may appear, has a unique story to tell based on its origin, experience, and people. The challenge, however, is trying to figure out how to transform those raw elements into a unique, distinctive presentation, one that captures your target audience's attention and interest. According to Redsker, the solution is to find an authentic theme, apply creative imagination, and tell your story in a way that will attract and retain people's attention. What was widely perceived to be boring could become inspiring, or at least interesting, to a group of people. To accomplish this, Redsker proposes five brand content strategies to attract attention. Come to the rescue, reach out to your community, do something completely unexpected, play to your strengths, and encourage people to talk and engage. Being as my wife and I are currently in the process of house hunting, I thought what better tie into Redsker's strategy tips than making the real estate industry, or more specifically any hypothetical local realtor or real estate agency, as my model case study for a boring brand. The first strategy involves coming to the rescue, which focuses on improving customers' lives or helping to solve a problem. Here, a realtor could create content designed to help alleviate the anxiety so often associated with the process of moving, not to mention the paralyzing fear of such a large-scale transaction. For instance, a realtor could develop a series of blogs offering tips and inside advice on what to look for when searching for a new home, what unexpected pitfalls to expect, housing market trends for specific locales, what to look for, and by contrast, what to look out for when selecting a moving company, or basically any form of content that helps buyers and sellers take a little less stress out of the monumental process of buying and selling a property. The second strategy is reaching out to your community, which is all about featuring content that relates to your customers' lifestyles, concerns, and interests. For a realtor, for example, this would provide a great opportunity to connect with their community on a more personal level, perhaps encouraging conversations amongst the community members themselves. This can be approached in several ways, such as developing an online community message board, which would provide a forum for members to share their thoughts, for instance, about certain neighborhoods, maybe moving, moving horror stories, what the school districts are like, etc. Such a forum would also serve as an additional benefit of providing a quick and easy outlet to monitor and listen to your customers, gaining even more insight into their preferences and attitudes. Another option would be additional uh, forums and group pages could also be created for clients and potential home buyers and seekers via Facebook or Google+ or any other similar social media platform. Another option would be perhaps even directly connecting potential buyers with potential sellers. The third strategy would be to do something completely unexpected, which is perhaps the toughest challenge out of all of the strategies. The goal here is to take your bland, boring brand and present your product or service in a new, unexpected way to get your audience to take notice. A realtor adopting this strategy could therefore develop content around the idea of trying to present the opposite of the classic negative notions affiliated with the real estate industry, such as debt, anxiety, long-term commitments, buyer's remorse, and all associated headaches with moving. This is the time to brainstorm and try to think outside the box. For instance, some realtor ideas could, develop, could include an entertaining mobile app guide to the best rest restaurant delivery options in town or maybe a video featuring children offering tips on the best playgrounds or fun-filled activities to do with the family in selected neighborhoods, or maybe even holding a caption photo contest for some wacky or interesting housing photos, or perhaps a contest for who has the best or worst house hunting, house hunting stories. Basically anything that would be perceived as light and entertaining. Buying and selling a home can be one of the most stressful times in a person's life, so why not bring some levity to a traditionally overwhelming experience? The fourth strategy is to play to your strengths, which is about taking stock of what makes you or your organization flourish. What are your strongest assets, and how can you take advantage of them to create compelling content? For a realtor, I believe one of their biggest and best-selling points is through visual imagery. Therefore, I would use highlights. I would, therefore, I would highlight these strengths through content driven through photography and video. Using sites such as Pinterest and Instagram, for instance, a realtor could provide. Not only content featuring vivid images of various properties on the market, but could also incorporate more images of the town and surrounding neighborhoods, perhaps some parks, or uh, some of the other added value that goes into buying a house, which is more than the house itself. Thereby, it would provide a better overall impression and selling point than just the property alone. 
Another suggestion could be the use of YouTube videos and iTunes podcasts chronicling previous buyer and seller experiences, offering personal accounts of prior success and failures, helping current and future clients relate just a little bit better and perhaps gain some additional insight. There's nothing quite like the euphoric high of finding the perfect home after a long exhaustive search. Savvy realtor could find ways to capitalize on that positive experience. The fifth and final strategy would be to encourage people to talk and engage, which is about promoting and maintaining the conversation with your audience, even if that conversation isn't about your organization at all. For instance, a realtor could offer tips on finding the best repairman, maybe how to choose an environmentally friendly lawn care service, maybe even present a series of blogs featuring before and after home remodeling projects, or really any other industry-related topics of interest for anyone in the buyer or seller property market. For each of these five strategies, one of the most important factors of any creative content is to make sure it is not broadcast in isolation. Instead, there must be a strong emphasis on cross-promotion, making sure to connect each element of contact and content back to each other, making it as easy as possible for the client or potential audience to connect. For instance, using the previous blog pieces on before and after home remodeling projects, a link to the realtor's Facebook and Google Plus pages could also be offered to entice uh, along with a tease headline post, as well as a split be- photo of the before and after example posted on Twitter with the affiliated link. In addition, perhaps an employee comfortable and proficient at public speaking could offer an online workshop of home buying and home selling tips, with that piece also cross-linked to the same social media platforms, as well as the video and audio podcast of the session shared across even more outlets. Basically, any piece of content can be utilized and shared across multiple social media channels. The trick is learning how to best adapt and connect the correct proper form of media with the most receptive audience.